Hi everyone, today we're going to be making double-sided business cards upon request. This is something that I did with Canva and my Cricut Explore Air 2. So first we're going to browse our images and import them from Canva. And I save them as a PNG, insert them using the complex setting, and then click continue. I then saved it as a print then cut image and just renamed them so it's easier to find later. After that, you're going to do that for the other side of your business card. So this is the back portion and I'm going to label it as my business card number two. Then I'm going to insert a blank square and this is just so that I have a better visual contrast between my white business cards and a dark background. And from here, I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller and we're going to be playing around with the size a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to be duplicating them and I'm going to duplicate about five. And then I'm going to select all of the cards and then I'm going to readjust the height to be 9.25 inches because that is the maximum height that you can use for the print then cut feature on Cricut. After that, I'm going to look at the width of the card and I see that it's 3.146 inches and then I'm going to select the back side of my business card and make that the width as well, just so that it's able to cut evenly. And then I repeated the process by duplicating the back side of the cards and making five of those. And then I took the front and the back side and I clicked center vertically and this is again to ensure that they will be cut at the same exact width and height and you're going to repeat that for each row. And then I'm going to select the back side of the cards and I'm going to take that column and click center horizontally. And then I noticed that the height was a little too big. It was over 9.25 inches. So I'm going to readjust that and make sure that it is 9.25 inches. After that, I group that column together and then I'm going to repeat the process on the front side of the business cards. And then as you can see, it's the same width and height for each side, 3.122 inches for the width and 9.25 inches for the height. Now I'm going to duplicate each side of the business card. So I duplicate the front and then I'm going to repeat that for the back. And then after that, I'm going to click each of the columns and make sure that it's centered vertically. And again, you can always double check this by making sure that the width and the height for both the front and the back groups are the same. So after you duplicate and align both the front and the back columns, you're going to then group those two front groups together and then the two back groups together. After that, you're going to attach the group and then you're going to flatten it and then you're going to repeat that for the other side. And then I hid the square because we no longer need that for our cut. And then I also hid the front side of the business cards. Now when you print the back sides of your business cards, you want to make sure that the cards are in the upper right hand corner. And this is so that the machine will align and cut properly at the end. And then this should pop up and then I actually do not add the bleed. Um, I want to make sure I'm using the system dialog and then I'm going to click print. And then depending on your printer and the type of computer you have, um, you can readjust the paper settings. So I clicked specialty paper and use the matte feature. Another important step is making sure that you're inserting the paper back into your printer correctly so that it's aligned with the front side of your business cards and printed on the other side. Then you're going to repeat the steps for the front side of your business card. And for this one, you just leave the alignment. You don't need to move it around.
The setting that I use for the material is light cardstock. And then once you insert your mat with the business cards facing front, you're going to see how the Cricut will cut out your cards just as so. And this is how they came out. As you can see, the front and back are both on one piece of paper and they came out pretty evenly. So let me know if you have any questions or comments or any other ideas that you want to see for future videos. Thank you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe. Bye!